Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're gonna be presented with Would You Rather scenarios by Stevie, presumably. Uh, Stevie, are you there? Yes, I'm here, and I oh, will God. be presenting you with Would You Rather scenarios. Okay. And then one of them's gonna be one way, and then she's going to do it inside out, and that's gonna be the other way, and we have to choose which one we would rather. Oh, I like that. Mm. Yeah, she's gonna clarify that it's a little bit different than what you said. It's a little bit different. Uh, that's what that meant. Now, that's on you. We're going to do a secret handshake. I think just for kicks and giggles, let's do a secret handshake where all of the secrets happen in just the two hands, the right hands that are shaking. We've done a lot of things where we move around and it's fun and everything. Yeah, we got to we got to we got to boil it back down. We got to like get a, back to the a, basics. Just a handshake. Just a challenge. We're going to just see where we can go with this. I'm never looking at the hands, that's my trick. Oh, nobody nobody cares about that. Now, now that shake begins. <laughs> oh, God, don't look don't 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 look at me like that. But you're looking at me like that. Oh. <laughs> Fly away! <laughs> Ooh, man, my, my hand actually started to burn from exertion. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Like I felt the hand burn. That's what I was hoping for. Wow. I love it that people submit wheel endings in beautiful places. At beautiful, fleeting moments, like a sun setting on a ship with another ship about to eclipse the setting sun. And instead of being like, I'm gonna be in the moment and watch the sunset, they're like, wheel video! I yeah. love that. Or, I just got married. Wheel video! Wheel video, or we I'm in an exotic location on vacation. Wheel, wheel video. video! We it love the wheel video. It really does make me feel good that, uh, well, because you it, think about us. It, it, what it does is it brings your moment, your special moment to all of us. And it, bring, and it it's brings like you're us sharing to a special moment. Us. Yeah, yeah, here's to that. I gotta drink more coffee to, to like break down all the, I eat so much of the Snickers. I have, that was I have, there's a layer of nougat in my stomach right now that Taco Bell is below it. And Stevie, what, I mean, were you intrigued yeah. by the Inside Out Snickers? Is that I a, thought, a party favor? Well, I thought Lily did an excellent job, especially oh, comedically. Yeah. She's not but here anymore. She's, she, she's she gone. She already she's left. Gone. She's gone. I she, mean, she each got, creation she's got her roses. so awesome. I was intrigued by yeah, it was cool by all of them. It was cool, was, especially this. You know what? We should we should we should have made a wheel video. Oh, it God. was that good. It was a special moment. It was a special moment. We missed it. Dang it. True. Next time we have a special moment, remind us. Would you like to ponder upon a would you rather yep. question? Only if uh, you turn them inside out. Okay. Would you rather have to laugh every time you feel sad or cry every time something is funny? Well, you can cry. Sometimes laughter laughing. turns in, into crying. Like the best laughter includes tears. I mean, if you're going that hard with a laugh, why not just skip to the best part, which is just like bawling? And it doesn't say that you have to frown. So let's just say you said something really funny. Okay, look, you don't have to say it. Good. Let's just pretend that you did. I just said something funny. And then I'm like. <laughs> like, you, would you feel supported? Uh, like, if I started crying? Because if it was the opposite. Yeah, that's the other part. And you, that's and you part of say this. something real bad happened to you. Something bad happened to me. <laughs> now yeah. I'm a jerk. Yeah, you, you're a total. You know what I'm saying? I think you can manage socially. First letter of the, the alphabet hole. So the other one. But the other way, you're just spoiling, you're potentially confusing, if not spoiling, a hilarious moment. Okay, so you'd, you would laugh every time you feel sad. Definitely. Yeah. And is this, was this in a movie no. or is this a condition? But I'm aware of this happening in some oh, context. Oh, like when people get super uncomfortable, sometimes they Maybe laugh as a response. I think that's harder to socially manage. 
That's what I'm saying. I would do the opposite. No, I. We've already locked in our answer. Oh. I was just saying I'm. A memory is being triggered of some something I've seen or it's, been exposed it's, it's, to. It is a. Uh, yeah, it's a disorder. I think. I think it's a disorder. When people is have a, a laugh, a laughter. I thought it was just like an uncomfortable. No, that is a phenomenon. What you're talking about is a yeah. phenomenon. You feel so uncomfortable and you and you laugh. If yeah. a phenomenon is is reaches a certain something for a certain length of something, then it becomes a disorder. We actually wrote that. Um, oh, it is a an effect of some a scientific effect. We wrote that it's a freaking specific book in my pullover. We, we wrote that specific scenario into Bleak Creek. If you don't, rem- if you don't, if you haven't forgotten. I have forgotten. The Rex character, when when he is seeing something that's horrifying, oh yeah, he, he giggles. Laughs. He giggles, and and that's because I thought that that is how I sometimes react. It's how I mean, if I go to a haunted house, I laugh my way through it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Is it like a real world laugh? <laughs> ha! Uh, it's not okay. quite that. I don't. I can't, not, I can't do that anymore. It's not that muppety. There'd be so much the other way, like all the GMM episodes would just have like me crying in the background of them, you know. That would be trouble. And that would be weird. But then if every time we got really vulnerable and sad, you laughed, that would be worse. Yeah, it's true. Yep. True. Would you rather be able to only whisper for the rest of your life or have to shout everything you say? There's a power in a whisper. Um, You know, there's there's a quiet centered to the solitude of a whisper that makes people lean in. You know, it's, um, yeah. the, you want to keep them guessing. This is an easy one. You want them. Whisper all yeah. the way. Yep, yep. You don't want to be a yeller. Because it would be annoying, for sure, to have to always lean into someone. But if it would be annoying to have to do the thing to accommodate a whisperer. But a yeller would in themselves be annoying. And that's a more that's a more difficult thing to deal with. And like you said, it's like sometimes you walk into a room and uh, there's one person that's not saying anything and you think to, to yourself, oh, either this that's person- the, That's the mysterious either person. Either everything depends on what this person says or nothing depends on what this person says. And I don't know. Right. It, you know, it's good to raise a question. What is the proverb? A fool turns, a, even a fool, even a fool seems wise if, if he doesn't open his mouth or something like that. Right. It's a proverb. It's a proverb. Keep your mouth shut. You said kicks and giggles earlier, which I didn't know was the G-rated version of that. Well, I kind of did it. It was an audible. I caught it in the mo- in the moment. Huh. Okay. Kicks and giggles? Kicks Kick, and giggles. Kicks and giggles. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Shoots and ladders? <laughs> no. Huh? I no. want you to say shoots and ladders. Shoots and ladders. Shoes and ladders. Can you take the wheel video down? Because he's staring at me and I keep looking at it. But he seems so happy. Would you rather have the world's largest Audi or the world's deepest Innie? The I think car? We're talking, yeah, yeah. We're talking, uh, it's like a big Audi. <laughs> like a Cadillac. I got a hatchback Audi. It's a pretty big Audi. It's it, one of the larger Audis. I had it for about four months, and then it dawned on me that I had a station wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? How yeah. did that happen? How did, yeah. I, how did I get a station wagon? Yeah. I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm here driving around in a station wagon. You have wagon? a station wagon. I've thought about saying it. Ooh, but I'm just, you, you mentioned You it. know, at least it's not a... Tesla. <laughs> He's so hurt. I bought he, it before. I so, bought it before. Okay. I did. Did I? I did strike a nerve. <laughs> a little insecurity. I don't like how the vents in a Tesla. Well, are. no. The worst part. I about, can't tell which way they're pointing. The worst part about having a Tesla is being at an intersection. This has happened to me at least ten times, where every single person at the intersection in my neighborhood it has the same car as me. Yeah. And I don't mean, I mean the same model and the same color. I don't understand. Yeah. It was like one day a flip switched and then everything was a Tesla. It yeah. Was a flip did concerning. switch. Yeah. She turned that, she turned that inside a kick out. That was giggled. the cool, that was the cool thing about it. A shoot laddered. One time I was in an intersection and everyone was in my car and I was behind all of them in my car. You know what I'm saying? I was, put number, in I was number two up. in line to somebody who was my car, and then the other three cars were also my car. Um, Lily was telling me that it's called something when it's a, it's a white Tesla phenomenon. She had a name for it. I wish I could remember. Should we get her back out here? Get her, oh no, my Lily, my daughter. 
Not that comedian. <laughs> so you said an Audi, as in a belly button. Back Audi to belly the, button. Uh, or, 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 or how large? A really big, really big Audi, or really in in any. An any could come in handy. A really big any. Well, how how firm is the Audi? You want to explore that a little bit? Don't Hello? this this firm. It's that firm. Doing, 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 doing. I think I would. I already have. I think I would have an any. Gotta have an any. You gotta have an any because you can put things in it. Um. Well, an Audi, you can um, you could put you could stack rings on it. You could be like a fair a fair. You could game. be a ring toss person, like buy a ticket for the human ring toss. You with an Audi, you have to with a really big Audi, you have to deal with it constantly. It's an it's another appendage, and any is just another orifice <laughs> that has to be accounted for. Well, I mean, both of them got to be cleaned. It's easier to clean an Audi. I'd take yeah, cleaning the any would be like a like a we're talking like a eight to twelve inch any. I'm talking about because it, it circles around, it circles back on itself, this it is, corkscrews. This is so making me uncomfortable. You, you gotta, it's a pipe cleaner. You go in there with a pipe cleaner. Oh, I googled. Uh, Don't. What do you what do you think the percentage of Audi versus any? Oh, I thought you were gonna show me a picture. Seventy four percent any. Link? Gut reaction. Um, I think that's a pretty good guess. Uh, I mean, it's probably lower than that. Maybe 60, 65% any. 90. 90? 90. Yeah. 90 any. Yeah, you don't see a lot of Audis these days. Because you can make an any from an Audi. That's kind of what I've done. You know what I'm saying? That's what you've done. That's what I've done. If you keep, if oh you, yeah, if you keep a little spare tire, you right, can make right. an any. Yeah, you can make. If an I were any. to get rid of my spare tire, who knows what I got? I think it might be an Audi. Well, you had and you had kind of a flatty. It was pretty flat. It was flat in my younger days. It was just flat, and then I added to it. <laughs> right. When I was dancing in my uh, apartment, you may, I don't know if you've seen that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, at that point it was, it was pretty flat. Pretty flat. Yeah. Pretty flat. Yeah. It, was, it was right there. You could see. You could see the bottom you of the well. You could see all the muscles. Would you yeah. rather? Yep. Have breakfast for dinner every night, or yes. have dinner for breakfast every uh, morning? Breakfast for dinner is a treat. It's like a. It's like, well, is it a holiday? What are we celebrating? I just, I, I'm always up for that. It's so much fun. Right, but you like it because it's not happening every, every day? single time, right? <sighs> So there's, a breakfast, more there's a lot more breakfast. There's a lot more dinners becomes than breakfast. dinner. Yeah. Then I think it loses its luster. That's kind of what the British. But do. then you got to wake up and eat. Now I have speaking of the British, and along those same lines, I have gotten where I do beans on toast in the morning, on the weekend, on the, as a treat, as a treat to myself. Okay. I do some eggs, and then I do, and I actually grill the bread in the pan with the eggs okay. after the eggs okay. and some butter and then i put the the baked beans on top of it mm. and uh that's kind of that's really really dinnery and i like it i think i would go dinner for breakfast i think i think i have to as well oh i pulled just, you over just because of the sheer variety to the dinner but like breakfasts are so much more limited and no one says you couldn't just move breakfast to dinner I could still do that. She didn't say we couldn't do. Can we do right. that? Don't, don't tell us we can't. Don't ask us. Don't ask us. Don't ask us. Don't, don't ask, ask us to do that. Just don't ask us. <laughs> um, would you rather see with your ears and hear with your eyes, or mm -hmm. <laughs> have to always moonwalk instead of regular walk? Okay. <laughs> These are related. Boy, um, moonwalking everywhere. I mean, for first-time viewers, it's always in, in, it's always impressive. But you'd be you'd be so good at it. The guy who moonwalks everywhere. Yeah, you'd be known for that. It would. It'd be a little annoying after a while. Hearing, seeing with your ears, you'd you'd have a little bit of the problem that horses have. <laughs> you know, where and, and, and lots of and deer and cows, a lot of them have this thing where they kind of have to get a little side view in order to to see you because of the way their eyes are placed on the side of their yeah, head. Yeah, but, but so the this ears would be come more out like, just enough. I think it would be more like... You get a lot more information. You just kind of turn a little bit. You get a lot of information. So from, when you're looking from, at something, you're like seeing. this. 
I think we humans get a lot more from sight than we do from hearing anyway. True. So I actually think moving the eyes in a place where we could see even more would be a, it'd be a net gain in terms of input. Would they still look the same or would you have eyeballs for ears? Because that's a problem. I think, yeah, you'd have eyeballs for ears. That's a real, I'd be the moonwalk eye. I don't want eyeballs for ears. I, I think about but that. Because then you get ear holes for The problem with moonwalking eyes. though is that you're always walking backwards. I think you'd develop a, you'd get a mirror system. You have a, you'd have some rear view mirrors. You, no, it would be a handheld, be a handheld mirror. I think you would attach it. Probably to a hat. To like a white fedora. And you'd wear a full white suit? Yeah. Yeah. And then if you wanted, wanted to get anyone. a closer look at something, you'd lean forward. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Kim and Kanye bought that hat for uh, whatever their kid's name was, Northwest. They bought the actual Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal hat. Wow. For their child as a gift. That's cool, man. Let's hear another one. Would you rather have fingers I'm as long as your legs or legs as short as your fingers? Wow. Fingers Finger as long as your legs. Man, I got pretty long fingers. I mean, that's kind of what the everywhere, everything, all at once. Everything, all at once, everywhere. No, that was hot dog fingers. Hot dog fingers, but it gives you an idea of what we're working with here. I mean... Look at my leg, though. I mean, that's a long finger. That's... You can't... I think you would start to grab things and your fingers would just, like, flop backwards. I think you would fold your fingers back and they would go back up your arm. If you wanted to grab something, though. You'd develop a new technique. You'd probably be opening your fingers sideways to grab things. You could probably just do a lot of knob work. <sighs> I don't know really anything about that. <laughs> 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 okay um but then legs that short you're like you're walking around like a crab yeah and it probably makes that noise <laughs> well I, I don't if that happens i'm in if, but you only have two. Oh, you only you, have two. but if you move those two <laughs> i think i can move them that fast their fingers i'd be I don't think they can support the weight of your I, body. I'm I'm going with the legs. Yeah, I'm going with the legs too. I mean, there's there's all types of devices you can get in and like locomote, but and, when your hands are that long, yeah. And finally, would you rather fart snot or sneeze farts? <laughs> okay. Oh, sneeze Here farts. Fart. Snot. Farts. That's Ooh, that's a diaper situation. That is tough. Because you're farting on average 14 times a day. How many times do you fart a day? I don't know. I don't usually count, but I'm just saying that's that's one time I heard that on like a kid's show when I was a kid. <laughs> okay. Never forgotten it. Mm-hmm. Because they were like, even Madonna farts approximately 14 times a day. I was like, <laughs> okay. That's an interesting fact. <laughs> oh, that made you stop your knob work. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, no, actually, that's when I started. Oh, uh, uh, well, what's the other one? Sneeze? Sneeze farts. So every time you sneeze, it would, <clears throat> it would make a fart noise. I think you could get but away with that. You are catching it. I think you'd have to make other noises. Both of you and I. Is are it the pretty sound loud. or the smell? We're kind of loud sneezers. I will say that. There's a lot of. There, there's a there's a noise that happens, a vocalization that's technically unnecessary. It's kind but, of funny. But I'm saying with the you would ha have it as a party trick anytime you wanted to do it amongst friends. But if you were on a date or with you know you, you did, somebody you were trying to impress, you just make a louder noise than the fart. Here's the answer, dude. Madonna, even Madonna sneezes, but there's plenty of days that she doesn't. Right. You sneeze a lot less than you, you fart. You want snot in your pants 14 times a day? <laughs> no. I'd rather fart in a Kleenex, not a sponsor. <laughs> it sounded like Thanks for clarifying. Uh, every few days. Oh, oh you you being paid by Kleenex. <laughs> Kleenex. Because why would you say the that? The number one fart catcher for sneeze farters. <laughs> <laughs> What mythical creatures you think 
would taste the best. Fantastic question. Oh, hear me out. Hear me out. Here's a good one. Uh, the Pegasus. Gnome. A winged horse. I want to take gnomes and I want to cook them like mussels. Gnomes are people. Oh, 